Um, Minty, and I know I've already made a video today, but I really need to cover some very important things that Matsuko said about the new fishing boss. Temperance just came out. I completely missed it last time, and I feel a little bad. Also, some memes and some art. If you're new to the channel, we cover a lot of RuneScape news, RuneScape memes, art, and pretty much anything going on in the RuneScape world. And if that does tickle your interest, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. I would appreciate it. Let's start with, uh, I'll let you guys decide what this is, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, if I have to see it, you have to see it. I'm sorry, I don't, whoever made the art on that, you need Jesus, boy. Uh, also, some actual art. This was made by Killerfish24. Gotta shout out the artist, because... This, my friends, is pretty epic, man. So a depiction of Ulm versus uh, a nice little trio, dude. We got uh, the beautiful Sanguine Staff, uh, Prime Boots. You, you can even see the bracelet right here. Look at the detail on the Tormented bracelet. Oh my God. If you, if you want to see detail, Ulm looking evil. Ulm looking mad evil, man. Oh, just absolutely beautiful. You even got the tax right here. Very, just very nice. Very nicely done. Very nice. Just one more shout out to Killer Fishy 24 I very, I very much enjoyed that. Also, if you guys are wondering about Jagex, who runs RuneScape and Old School RuneScape, they have won an award that no one knows about. We are delighted to announce that Jagex won Best Financial Wellbeing Initiative Award at the Inside Out Awards. So, that's good. Looks like everyone who works for Jagex is having a pretty good time. They're not super mentally stressed. Mental health is very important. Props. Absolutely props. I didn't know anything about this, but I do follow their Twitter, so that's very nice. And I scrolled down to read some of the comments. Inside Out never went to the Duel Arena, did they? <laughs> yeah. It's not so much well-being and mental health at the Duel Arena. But, yo, know, props to Jagex. That's great to make an awesome work environment for their employees. Let's hop into the Temporos news, though. Mod Zuko. First time she's actually been on the Q&A. He says, thanks for coming out to my first live stream because RuneScape did have a Q&A today. I covered it in my earlier video and I thought I got everything from the Q&A, but I skipped over a very important part. Apologies. That's why I literally just made this video today because it's definitely very important. But yeah, I got the clip from Matsuko. Who does say this? I'll let you guys listen to it. Yeah, specifically within regards to the uh, rewards. That's my bad. Sorry about that, guys. I She's talking about the Temporos rewards. A lot of people have been complaining about uh, the loot per hour and the XP per hour. But there's more on the loot. I have been very unkind with the uh, release rewards. Uh, I'm mostly happy that we did it a little bit conservatively because it's definitely a lot easier to further reward people than it is to take away what they're already used to. And I think there's a little bit of content in the game where that actually does happen already. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But that being said, yeah, Zora. you should expect better rewards from Vorkas. Vorkas. Um I've been working on that today and I appreciate the feedback from the community with regards to making it a bit less crap, really. See, I love the way she said that. So she's been getting some probably negative feedback about the loot from uh, Temporos to Boss. I don't think it's that bad, but sure, it, it would be better if there was an upgrade. And she said that they were being a little conservative just in case um, it was too much. And then they can add more because it's easier to add more loot than to take away the loot you've already gotten. And if we're talking about Zora, Vorkaf, yeah, yeah, there, there was no fix in that. Still no fix in that. Also, wouldn't have been nice if they said this about revs in single plus when they nerfed it. Like, all right, single plus is good. Seems like the rev loot's pretty bad. Take responsibility. We'll buff it in a week. No, but Fishing Boss, we got a good buff. Modzuko, you handled that very well. So Temporos will be getting a buff very soon. When I know how and why and when that happens, I'll let you know. But really, that's the main focal point of today's video. Temporos, boosted loot, Modzuko, awesome. All right, now we just got memes. <laughs> I'll let you watch that again. So if you guys know how to fight the boss, you got to fill up the cannon and fire fish at it. And it, I, I love it, dude. I love it. Good stuff from what we got it from Jammy Dodgers. Very nice. When she keeps sucking after you're done. What is that? What is that, dude? Is that like Fat Casper? 
I don't even know where that's from. <laughs> it just It's on the RuneScape webpage. So it's a RuneScape thing. I guess I'm just a noob. I don't even know. That's beautiful. I uh, remember this meme. This is him right now. If you don't light those fires, or sorry, not light the fire, but if you don't put a bucket of water on those fires, they spread. And it's actually very annoying. So I thought that was kind of funny there. Um, let's do some market watch. We have not done market watch in a while. Do you have an item you want me to go over? Let me know. I was personally invested in the Elijah, but I have just sold it. Sorry, spoilers on the series because we have had a monumentous bounce. Max of 1.15 bill, which is where I bought, and then you can see a nice little roller coaster all the way down. We're at load at 960 mil. I didn't panic sell, and then we got a nice bounce right above one bill. So I still lost money. It might keep shooting up, I'd assume. We, I don't know. It could go right back down as well. But yeah, we got a very nice bounce on the Elijah Spirit Shield for those who are holding those or maybe wanted to buy them. But yeah, it's kind of retesting new highs again. Maybe I'll regret selling it, but I'm just glad I got some more money to put it into certain merches that we're about to cover. Dragon Harpoon. Is this a dead horse? The Dragon Harpoon is one of the best in slot items and the Infernal Harpoon for the Temporos boss, which is out. And you see this huge influx, and then right as it hits 2.2 mil, we're going to go down to the amount traded per day. There's something off. I don't know, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 20,000 traded today. Or yesterday, March 24th on release. People were buying them up like crazy, and the people who bought all of the Dragon Harpoons looked like they let go of a lot of them as well. And it's still maintaining a price of around above 2 mil. The buff is not in the game yet. Will this item keep going up? I don't know, but I will tell you this. I put, I'm put. i trying to buy about 400 mil of them. So I will tell you, I'm actually trying to buy them. Should you buy them? Probably not. You sh you, I've always lost money. But if I go over items, I will tell you what I'm invested in just so uh, I feel like that's the, the, the best thing I can do. Why would I stay hidden about that? So I am buying right around this price point. We'll see what happens after the buff comes in the game. It could go right back down to 1.5 mil though. <laughs> it could go down even lower. It could go down all the way, 1.1 mil. Let's see, what is the lowest value? 500K. Could, I could lose all the way down to 500K. We will see. We will see what happens. Also, if you add a smoldering stone to the dragon harpoon, you get the infernal harpoon, which is a one in three chance to cook the harpoon fish. A lot of harpoon words there. And that is for tempera, so it's a very good item. So we're just gonna look at the smoldering stone, which skyrocketed in value. Now, February 26th, it hit a peak high. I don't know why. There must have been an update for something, and it dropped all the way back down, and I'm thinking a lot of people started buying them up for this update for, to use on the Dragon Harpoon. Because uh, right around here on the release, we got 2.6 mil. And if you come down supply and demand, something stand out a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. So a high of 4,500 were traded on the release of Temporas, and then it kind of just whittled back down. I didn't buy any Smoldering Stones. Could they go up after the buff is implemented? They could. They definitely could. Could they go down? Of course. So, <laughs> use your own GP to your own discretion. We're looking at a bottom of about 1 mil, and right now it's about at its peak, very close to its all-time high. So, all I know is that if you use them together, you, you, you know, it uses the items. So overall, they're coming out of the game somewhat. But yeah, I didn't buy any smoldering stones. I thought it'd be really cool to look at that item price, though. As, uh, I mean, look at, look at, look at this. It's never been traded that much in history, except when Temporos was re re released, Ben. So we're talking a lot of these came out of the game. So this could be bullish, could not be. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm a bad merch. Don't listen to me. And then we'll end off with some memes. Oh, what the hell is this feed? I actually found this on the regular, not even old school, regular RuneScape feed. Ranged is the way. Is range super overpowered on RuneScape 3? Let me know. Maybe that's why. <laughs> why, dude? <laughs> also, I thought we'd end with some cute noobs. The cute noob subreddit post on Reddit. If you find any cute noobs, I would go ahead and post them to cute noobs. I will literally see them. Look at this little fella slaying Basilisk, man. I feel like this is fake. I feel like this is fake. There's no a steel pick full Addy. 
I mean, come on, bro. You even got the Addy boots. I don't know if this is real, but I'd like to imagine it's real, man. And look, at he's almost got him killed. <laughs> the next one's even better. It's called fashion. Look it up. Are those Pagasians? Oh my god, this man stacked. <laughs> rune, a rune throwing eggs. He's got the, okay, he's got the rain shield. Not as big as a noob as I originally thought, but that gear setup is just, it's definitely something, man. We got a couple angles. Thank you. Thank you for the angles, man. Very nice. So yeah, just a little update that Temporos does look like it's going to be buffed. Some of the items relating to Temporos could see uh, another upward momentum or they could definitely see a drop we will we will see a 40,000 dragon or 20,000 dragon harpoons were traded yesterday will they go back down i guess we'll find out i personally am invested in them <laughs> maybe i'll lose even more money uh hopefully you enjoyed today's video another double upload thanks for uh, staying tuned and like always i will see you in the next episode